Have you contemplated the most effective methods for conducting multifaceted mechanical experiments? The realm of mechanical engineering experimentation is frequently characterized by intricate complexities. There are myriad factors such as temperature, pressure, load, speed, and geometry that can significantly alter the outcomes, hence establishing a network of variability and uncertainty. This is especially true in cases like optimizing the process parameters in CNC machining, improving the quality of injection, or enhancing the efficiency of assembly line operations. The analysis and interpretation of this intricate network to derive substantial data can pose a significant challenge. However, rest assured, there is approach to this complexity. To better tackle these challenges in various manufacturing processes, we present the concept of statistical design and analysis of experiments. The statistical design and analysis of experiments is the key to unlock these challenges. These two methodologies, often abbreviated as DOE and AOE, guide engineers in choosing the right experimental factors, settings and order of runs, and in making sense of the data collected. Diving deeper, we encounter several types of DOE and AOE methods. Factorial designs, for example, allow engineers to study the main effects of each factor and their interactions. Response surface designs fit a mathematical model to the relationship between factors and response, optimizing the results. Taguchi designs, on the other hand, reduce the number of runs required for a factorial or a response surface design, making the process more efficient. Lastly, mixture designs focus on factors that are proportions of a mixture, helping engineers find the optimal proportions for a desired response. These methods, when implemented correctly, can greatly improve the efficiency and effectiveness of your experiments. Let's delve into how these tools actually bring about a change. Imagine you're a mechanical engineer working on a project that involves multiple variables influencing the outcome. Traditional trial and error methods are not only time consuming, but also resource intensive, and they can't guarantee an optimal solution. This is where the magic of statistical design and analysis of experiments comes in. By strategically selecting and controlling the experimental factors, levels and settings, statistical design of experiments empowers you to plan your experiments in a systematic and efficient way. You can then conduct these experiments while taking into account the sources of variability and uncertainty. Now let's move on to the results. You have all this data, but what does it mean? Here's where statistical analysis of experiments steps in. It helps you to interpret the data, bringing out the effects of the factors, their interactions, and even the optimal settings for maximizing or minimizing a response. The impact? Well, it's multifaceted. Deeper insights into your systems, problem identification and resolution, performance optimization, and quality enhancement. All these benefits come along with a significant saving of time and resources. So you see, the application of statistical design and analysis of experiments is not just about crunching numbers. It's about making informed decisions that can drive better engineering outcomes. With the power of statistical design and analysis, mechanical engineers can not only save time and resources, but also significantly improve their products and processes.